Thanks for watching Afternoon Live. If you are looking to improve your relationship, our next guest says that you can use feng shui to help manifest your goals. We welcome back world-renowned feng shui master and the author of Feng Shui Your Life, Marie Diamond. Hey Marie, it's great to see you. Thank you so much for having me back. So let's talk about the types of images that will be helpful for us to feng shui, specifically in our bedrooms, right? Yes. Yeah, the first step is definitely to look at your bedroom. First of all, declutter your bedroom. Make sure it's really peaceful and calm. The second thing, look at what are the images above your headboard, because your headboard is really connecting in with your romantic life. So if it's an image of water, take it out because you're literally drowning from the water and you get more depressed and you are not so open to relationships. So also avoid any single or solitary images or items in your bedroom because you're saying subconsciously to yourself, I'm okay with being single. Okay, so we're looking for things in pairs. And then if you're in a relationship and you have maybe some photos of you and your partner, are you wanting to focus on more recent pictures? Correct, you're always updated. Of course, a wedding picture is always beautiful, but otherwise, like for example, your wedding picture is 20 years ago, then take a more current picture where you're both smiling, where you're both happy, and put that even above your headboard. Okay, and I wanted to ask you more about having water elements in your room, because I think a lot of people think that water might be sort of a calming image, but you said it's, it can actually drown out the love. <laughs> It does because, you know, love is really about passion, is a fire element and also uh, connected with earth elements. So if we have water in feng shui, we're kind of literally, you know, cooling down the passion and mudding the earth energy. And so, you know, here and there something blue is fine, but if you would have like blue curtains, blue cover, uh, blue carpet, I would definitely remove that and any water images Definitely, because even it feels calming, it just uh, cools down your fire. Okay, very interesting. How about just the general compass direction, turning that toward love throughout your home? So yeah, the general love direction is the Southwest that is standing for love and romance. So always uh, make sure you have in the Southwest of your living room, the Southwest of your bedroom, something in pairs, like something loving, like two loving birds, or to beautiful rose quartz hearts, something that just tells there's love in that space. And so that will be helpful. And definitely also colors in the Southwest or like rose, pinks, fuchsias, something warm and loving. What about flowers either in your home or specifically in the bedroom as well? Well, in the bedroom, I try to avoid real flowers or plants. Um, but definitely you can put uh, pictures out there of plants and especially for single women, it's very good to have peonies or an image of peonies or in the living room or the image of peonies in the uh, uh, master bedroom that you have because peonies always attract lasting love. Okay, and then are there other things that we should avoid having on display in the bedroom as well? Well, I would say anything to do with uh, winter landscapes, because again, it shows cold energy, um, even images that are too chaotic, like too abstract, because then love is not abstract, love is very uh, real. And so sometimes too many pictures of the children, because people are saying like, oh, all the children are always coming to stay with us, but focus on romance. Very interesting. And always get rid of your old stuff if you have an ex hanging around, right? <laughs> uh, totally. Anything related with your ex, um, images, items, just move them out and just give them away or re return them to the ex. Okay. Fresh start. And are there other plants that you love or you should stay away from in terms of other flower or plant options in the house? Well, you know, if we look at the flowers that are used the most for love is, of course, roses. So you can definitely put some red roses, pink roses, even yellow roses in the living room because they always attract a loving atmosphere. Beautiful. Hey, Marie, it was great to see you. Thank you so much for Thank spending so some much. time with us today. Wonderful. Have a wonderful summer. You too. Again, Marie's book is Feng Shui Your Life, and we'll have more information on our website at katu.com. We'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this.